Welcome to another Czar Money training session. In this module, you'll learn how to post payments you receive from customers and apply those payments to customers. So let's get started. You've invoiced customers and now they've paid you. Great. Now you need to account for those payments received in Czar Money. To begin, start at your dashboard, go to Payments, and click the plus sign. From there, begin typing in the name of the customer who paid you to reveal all the open or unpaid invoices. Type in the amount of the payment. Note, you can connect your Stripe, PayPal, or other merchant services so you can accept credit card payments immediately. In this case, our customer paid by check. From there, we can adjust the date if we need to and add the check number on the reference line. Let's talk about how to use the Deposit To line. When you receive payments as a batch that you're going to take to the bank and deposit in a single line item as a group, use the undeposited funds. If you're just depositing one check, use the checking account line. Sometimes our customers will use a single payment to be applied to multiple invoices. In that case, we can apply the various payment amounts to the invoices below. If we're done, Click Save and Close, but in this case, we want to enter in more payments, so let's click Save and New. Our customer, Keisha Flores, has paid us $1,000. In this case, we want to note the amount paid, that she paid with the check, the check number, and we're still going to apply this to undeposited funds. Because it only applies to one invoice, we can hit Save and Close. That's perfect. Now let's move those payments from undeposited funds into our checking account. Go to Banking, go to Deposits, and click the plus sign. Begin entering your deposit detail. First, choose the correct banking account to deposit the funds, select the date, and then enter a deposit detail if you choose. Next, select the types of payments made so that you can then select each payment that will be included in the total single line item deposit. In this case, we see that our total deposit is $11,000. We can also use this screen to enter in other deposits directly by entering the details including the customer, the amount, and the remaining details. In this case, we're finished so we can hit save and print to see the deposit summary. We can save it as a PDF or print it out for our records. Now it's your turn. Receive a payment into your Czar Money account. And thank you for watching this Czar Money training session. For more training tips, check out our other videos. And for more help, visit us at czarmoney.com.